didn't believe I was an actress. I was just passing time, <laughs> having fun, like, yeah, I'm in Uganda. I'm not going to I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you, FF, for not doing that thing of just giving, just because they don't want to give to one person. Mm. I'm proud. Very, very proud for that. Because what is good is good. It's yes. Good, yeah. Don't limit me just because you're trying to make other people feel good. Yeah. I'm the most introverted extrovert you'll ever meet. I like people, but are on my terms. So I don't want people just dropping into my space like that. If I want people, I will deliberately get in my car and drive to a KCMO and then interact with people or I'll call you. But I don't want people just um. <laughs> So it's, again, it's my energy, it's my emotions. They run so hot that I don't have, I either have an on and off switch. So it's, ex it's, it's just really terrifying for someone to say to me, I love you. I'm just like, you don't know the mess <laughs> that I am. I, I, uh, you know, on a good day, I will give you a great performance. On a bad day, I'm just like everybody else. And the doubts and the fears are just there. Yeah. This is between the first um, Uganda Film Festival what is the Best Actress. And then come 2018, you did your film, America's Good. And you won the one as well. Ten categories. Was it 10 or 11? I remember no, 10 categories. Well, was it 10 or 12? 11. Yeah. There were 11 or 12. There were 12, 12. nominations. Yeah, 12 oh. nominations. Yes, ma'am. Please tell us because you've got money that year. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, one more going to come to the end. Yes, but it's up from national TV. I wish I want my money. Oh my God! Wow. Um. So my first oh God, this was. I don't know. It just. I think I can relate with Agaba somehow. This I didn't see this coming. I'm just. I had just joined the industry. Like, I joined like after like six months. That's when the nominations came out. Um, so <laughs> let me go back. So I, I, I get in this movie, I, I, I get to be part of this movie, and then the director's like, I have a whole movie, we can shoot back to back with this. But then the company I'm part of, they had not allowed me to do this other film, mm -hmm. the second film. So I'm like, huh, but you know what? It's okay. After all, it's just a movie. So I do the film. <clears throat> My company just knows about this first film, Girls About Town. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that I did two movies that I go. Now, the nominations come out. That's when they found out that I did two movies. And now they fire me from that company because I did another film without somehow. Yes, 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 yes. Gangster life. Like, oh, <laughs> gangster life. What's up? What's up? Oh, so much. oh no. Yes, where do I go? But then I already had a bad experience with the other company. Mm -hmm. The fact that um, somehow, something that Malika mentioned earlier, that uh, like skill girls were favored before, mm -hmm. and that's what I was experiencing there. Like he couldn't believe or understand the power of my performance on screen because yeah, I was yeah. looking. So this, this when, when I went to this side, these people appreciated me, and then they were just in, interested with what I could do. And I'm like, okay. But then there was a, someone who should have been here, Farida Otesa. Yeah, we played to her to punch her down, but uh, Yes, I know, time difference of that. So Farida, then she had done a movie called House Arrest. I didn't even know about you and Faith. I didn't even know she had one. Yeah, I didn't even know about you and Faith. Should, should you be saying that you didn't know about you and I didn't know about you and Faith. Julia, it's okay. Yeah. Should she? I'm as I've got you. <laughs> I swear, I had just joined. I had paid led a year in this game. I didn't know what UFF was. So I'm like, what is UFF that you've been nominated? Actually, I found my name in the papers. Like, you've been nominated. I'm like, what is that? Yes, 2015. I'm like, what is this? What is UFF again? <laughs> <laughs> they tell me UFF. I'm like, OK, I'll even tell you this. Please don't kill me. I always thought, like, yes, this is a word. It's not a good <laughs> It's just like, like it's a slam. <laughs> but I can take your hand off your neck. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe this. I swear. You know, you know what to understand. You 
know they are paying for this space. But I'm telling the truth. So I had to understand what UCC was first, then UFF. I'm like, so wait, films have awards? So what does, so what, uh, tell me, make me understand. What is these awards, you know, what makes them important? Ah, I don't get it so much. I'm like, kawa, in either way, I'm just passing time. <clears throat> by then, by the way, I was in law school. Yes, 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 yes. Weird, yes, that sound. So I'm like, okay, so I'm just passing time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we get there. I'm not confident. I, I'm not even going to win. And then, surprisingly, I'm winning. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. What is this? So I, that's why I, I was busy removing shoes because I just froze for that moment. <laughs> What do I do? So, do I wait? I, I stand up like Mel Strip. I think I didn't even know who Mel Strip was. Okay, I knew who she was, but I didn't understand what she meant in the matter of power. And stuff. I'm like, so do I wait and wave like a queen? So, what do I do? I'm like, so let me just go grab my award. <laughs> so, I get there. I don't even remember if I gave a speech. I have a feeling once I grabbed their what I walked off stage and then they called me. I back. remember you were going, they brought you back. <laughs> you leaned in the mic as if to say, this whole thing was new to me. I had no idea. And then, so they even had to call me back to pick my prize. I didn't even know it had a prize. I just took their what and that was it. But that was, I think, that was the most exciting moment of my career. I think to date. Do you know why? I was fresh. No one cared about me. No one knew who I was. I was just having fun. I didn't like Agaba. I, I, I didn't believe I was an actress. I was just passing time, having fun. Like, yeah, I'm in Uganda. I'm not going to call it. I'm going to call it. That's it. You. That was fun. The, after, I think the moment I walked off that stage, that's when it stopped being fun. Yeah, for oh. sure. To yeah. date. To live up to it. You. Now, the next thing I, I got, <clears throat> I got a call to do Yatmanit. I get to Yatmanit. That's a good job. There is uh, Michael Awoyo Jr., Michael Awoyo oh. Sr., oh. Rehem oh. Anafka, oh. um, the biggest names. Jida, who was so there? Jida. Luckily for me, I had no idea who they were. Oh, nice. <laughs> So I get there, they keep, but it just keeps telling me, now there is this one, now there, I'm like, okay, so who are they? Now, the moment I walked in, everyone was like, oh, she's the award winner. She's the award winner. Now the pressure started rising. Mm. I'm like, oh my God. I've not even met a year before. All this is happening. I'm like a baby in the industry. I'm like, what do I do? Everyone expects me to be experienced, professional. I don't even know. Hey, I'm, I did not even have the script for the first time. I didn't even know what the script was. This is, I'm coming from a background where we don't use scripts, but then I'm on a serious professional set where I'm supposed to do things. I'm like, so they asked me, so how much do you want to be paid? I'm like, wait, do you pay people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, I know. Yeah. Mm. So, so, you know, you, it, it, it just, this award changed one thing to the other to the other wow. and i had to prepare myself in the game when i'm already there i'm like okay i'm seated mm. okay let's write this but i had no idea i was not prepared i was not ready at all so yeah the fun ended at that point yeah wow. like, yep that was a word No, that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that we say that from the bottom of our hearts that you want to watch. But you should watch. You should watch. But it's your game. Okay. This is your job. To be watched by us. We really want people to watch them. I know. It's something we should be grateful for. No, you should. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Malika, the expression on your face. I know. I'm so happy. You're so calm and the troubles sometimes. Someone you in Venkazwish. <laughs> and here we are 
in very well on this. I want to go stretch it. Now I'm going to start. I'm going to respect, but then you know I'll respect. And you think about it. Yeah. How was your experience when you were in the end of the week festival? She got your money. She, by the way, came um, late. That's what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, as we sit here, which year was that? So I can note it down. You all had 2019 at UFF Malaika came late. Yes. <laughs> I'm never late, but anyway, you all were early. <laughs> no, um, so. <clears throat> I'm going to give a little bit of a background as well. So the thing about being an actress in Uganda, I didn't know. For me, I lived outside of Uganda for a bit, right? Mm -hmm. And I had, um, from when I was a kid, like many of you, there are certain things you just do when someone tells you, but how, and you're just like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Just, some sort of you get it. When there's a play in class, you're the lead somehow. When there's, like I was, you guys are so good. If they would even rather make me play that guy. <laughs> like that's like as long as it's the lead, let my life are played. If it's a man or a woman, let her. But also my big voice helps. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, shout out to guys at high school that made sure I was kinky right? because usually in the nativity play, I remember the nativity Please play. Please don't. Like, I was king Herod. That's <laughs> where we got in guys at high school. I remember it was like biggest thing to be part of the nativity play but you have to sing and <laughs> yeah, as you hear her reaction god gave me many sure. talents but, but screeching is yeah. not one of them singing is not one of them <laughs> and he knew because i would not talk to many of them if i could sing i just sing for one but um so i remember that they herod never really talked but they made sure my role had lines and I, I dominated because usually other roles would dominate the Mary or the what, but my King Harold. Like, even when I was like younger, like my angel Gabriel, like, you know, when you're just like, you're just naturally this person. Mm. And you don't think of acting as a career mm. in Uganda growing up. Yeah. You think of it as MVD in school. Yeah. 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 You win your, oh, by the way, I have them all this actress, this speech, this, I have them all, my certificates at home. But Chikomao, then you looked you into be a doctor, an engineer, and all these other things. No, before. 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 So when you bring it forward <laughs> to um, the first time I was ever in anything was with the Ebony's, actually. I was probably eight years old, or nine years old. I was shocked as well. Yeah, she was a little shocked. But I played the young version of Sabrina or something like that. And she made me sing Kiss Her. <laughs> anyway, but they put this song in that the voice. Did you hear that laugh? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, 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 so the first movie I ever did, I remember that they fly Uganda, I was in S3, and my Luganda is not the best, but they really wanted me to play this tough girl who's naive, a kavaji, and is being married off to an old man. And wow, where is that movie? But now, get whoever is out there, Mr. Serico, play a movie on your movie, that was my first movie. What was the title of it? I forgot it! Yeah, I just <laughs> so then that guy, and of course, like we said, life gears you in a certain way. So when you fast forward into <laughs> high school <laughs> and university and all these other things, that dream is not a dream because you never thought it was a thing, yeah. right? You never think. But when I lived in Kenya for a while, guys, I can Mm -hmm. in acting mm -hmm. and I remember I auditioned for Sugar mm -hmm. <laughs> and I went through the first round <laughs> I went through the second round and then I wasn't take, I wasn't chosen and then uh -huh. I remember they came to me and they're like you were so good but can we have you it was one of those things of they already knew who they were going to cast yes. yeah. and they were just trying to see just in case so they're like oh you can come as an extra one yeah. but the thing about my life from day one I you don't do I'm, I'm, I'm a main actress <laughs> <laughs> like even if i've been in nothing me me in my head i'm a main actress so i was like no thank you and i i will say this sometimes have a humble pie you never know what i realize an extra role can lead to a leading role you never yeah. know a supporting role, you can be the biggest, you can be the one who they remember. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, 
me because you never know what that path would have taken me towards. Um, when I came back to Uganda and I walked up to Nana and Papa because everyone was telling me, hey, you're being the life, they need the life. The life. I was like, no guys, I'm not. So I walked up to Nana Papa, she had never met me, she had never seen me. I looked at her, I said, hi, you know, it was another word show. And I said, hi, how are you? My name is Mamaka and I want to be your next actress. Nice <laughs> Interesting. And she looked at me up and down and said, cannot go back. <laughs> Like, she was in my, she was like, she even looked around to the like, guys, have you seen what has just happened? Right? And I said, thank you, nice to meet you. And I went away after that. Yeah, she called me. Oh, well, she main was, she next, was, yes. Yeah, I was the next, main actress for her next two series. Yeah. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And then our one Nisha Kalema came to me one day and said, hey, how are you? Someone has recommended you. Talk I about don't how know we met. you. <laughs> she said, I don't know you. First of all, how we met, well, we were supposed to meet downstairs, the radio station I was working at, and we were both there, but we didn't know each other. Like me, I didn't know who Nisha Kalema was, she did not know who I was. She had just been told, look for this girl. So when we met, I was like, hey, hi, how are you? And she's like, oh, she's like, I have a role. I said, mm, okay. You know that thing, of, okay, mm -hmm. let me. So I called Mushema and I said, Mushema, my man, you give my name, who's this person, who's this? She's, he was like, wait, don't sleep on things. <laughs> She's a big person. I was like, okay. So when she sent me the script, I said, what? This is fantastic. So I said, I want to trust you. I told her, see, wait, I'm going to be <laughs> And she said, it's a sequel, I'm going to be Meaning, I don't, I'm not in bad things. She says, I don't do bad things. I said, fantastic. Like we said, Veronica's wish. So in the 12 nominations, we say 10 or 1, the two that were not were Supporting Actress and, and Best, Best actor. actor. So you can understand, my first nomination was my first heartbreak. I really wanted it. Yeah, like, because our, you guys, our movie was so good. We deserved every award. But mm. Fabi always <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I'm, I'm proud of UFF for not doing that thing of just giving, just because they don't want to give to one person. Mm. I'm proud, very, very proud for that. Because what is good is good. It's yes. Good, yeah. Don't limit me just because you're trying to make other people feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Then you're not know, lifting the industry mm. up. And I remember Sela Nantumwe won that award. I was there for that event. Yes. And I watched her walk up. Yeah. And my heart was breaking because I've told you on our table we had how many awards? There because by the time they reach you guys, like, Many have been, oh, we have already gone up on that There are many pictures of me on that stage, just not from you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and my heart broke because Nisha knows what I put in yeah. to make <sighs> that character come to pass and that time. I, I just I, want to <laughs> one thing. Um, there's this time we we're supposed to shoot the radio at night, and then we had to come from one location to before we came to the radio. So I tell her, hey, like I'll be coming there at around eight to shoot. She's like, but I'm still emceeing somewhere, but let me rush and get out of this place early. So she gets out of that place early. She goes to the radio station outside and um, waits for us. But the day before that, we should translate. But then she didn't sleep, so she just went to her gig and then came back and slept in her car outside the radio station. That day, we delayed. And the other location we did first, we delayed. So we came there at around three in the morning. Oh. She was sleeping in her car. She had lost her voice. I didn't even know how to tell her we're not shooting today. <laughs> like, oh my God, I'm dead. What do I do? <clears throat> I just walked into her car. I sat. I didn't say what I just dozed off with her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the sweetest thing And then, ever. And then I just said, okay, let me go on air because I was doing a morning show after I had to be at work. So I, like, basically more than... And then after that, she still had to come on Then I still come on set. set and then... But that's it's normal for you, isn't it? It is. Because even Nana knows I've done it has sets. You like, that's just, the one thing about that a lot of people <laughs> don't know. Because maybe you, like, treat you like a door. Oh, um, it, it, the dismissiveness of how much you put into what oh, you wow. earn is kind of perceived like all your she's you know she's just things yeah, yeah. She's pretty and she's got, easy for you know oh, um, but I know for a fact you're one of the people that I've ever worked with that I've critiqued and pushed so hard there were times I pushed you so hard I felt like you know I could break you 
But and some days I was worried you wouldn't come back. With me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she was there. where she was dragged down a staircase, and I had to ask her very nicely, "Yenwezi?" <laughs> because in Uganda we don't have stunt doubles. <laughs> <laughs> so it was. Uh, I, I mean, kudos to you. Um, and it's so funny. She won the award for Bed of Thorns after coming off the TV Mella. series Mela where she had been in the same predicament yes. um, but so in prepared. this case I almost felt like Malaika was living PTSD <laughs> you know from that TV series before now she's like again <laughs> <laughs> like, anyway, so like I just needed to share that heartbreak of the nomination because we are talking about the win mm. right but you guys need to understand when you're celebrating and everyone is happy mm. and you're actually genuinely happy but your heart broken as well mm. you we've been in it in relationships and those things what where where your boyfriend just broke up with you but your girlfriend is saying i got engaged <laughs> and you're like oh, we are not and you're like mm. Mm, that <laughs> And I was so happy because I know the work that Nisha had put into their life as wish. Everyone, the entire cast, the crew. And it was so beautiful, it was so good. So when Bed of Thorns came around, um, all female um, crew, which was fantastic. But in the end, we had a male editor that was going to give me sound. Like, last, the last beat, of course, there's some things because I'm not But everything else was female. So sound, cinematography, DOP, director, female. Um, I remember when we were when we were doing everything. For me, I said, I talked to myself and I said, Malika, that was a heartbreak. We get up, we move, right? Mm. I was like, for me, I love, love doing this. I know most of you were saying, I don't know, I was just I had those those moments before, but when you see when it's you see, me, my first wasn't my win, mm. right? Yeah. So when you're so mm, you, mm, you're like, <laughs> and I didn't do Bed of Thorns to win an award. This is what I did. I did Bed of Thorns because everyone thinks that I'm casted because of my brand. Oh, my brand. You see, Malaika, my <coughs> brand is a she's a radio presenter. She's a TV, she's a TV presenter. She's an MC. She's I mean, you know, a digital content put like all these other things, many things that I do that my name was already big. Yeah. So there was a lot of chatter that reached me many times that are they only cast her because they want their movies to move. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Well, that's the reality. Right. They only so. cast her because they are sure if they'll get the numbers, the eyeballs. Okay. They only cast her because of, you get, you get it. Mm. So the more you hear it, the more you might start to believe it. Because you're mm. like, was that why I was nominated? Just because mm. if my name is on, then, you know, more people will, hmm. Was that why Nisha? Was that why Nana? Was that, then you start doubting yourself yes. and your talent and your, then there's also that thing of, she's not good, she's just pretty. Or yeah. she's not good, yeah. she's just she's a princess. That, she's a princess because of how I hold myself and everything. Tavis, mm -hmm. why do you think I loved Mela? Mm. That character that when she cast me for, nothing to do with me. Komunt, <laughs> <laughs> nothing. And I just needed that challenge. I just needed, you know, when you want to prove, no, 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 people, I swear, I'm good. I'm good. I promise I'm talented. It's not because of. And, and the funny thing is, I wanted to break that pretty mold. Yes. The thing about me, no offense, but women in this industry are objectified by your physical looks, yeah. your skin tone, mm. uh, your brand, as you call it, mm -hmm. and how far you're willing to go to get that part or stay in that mm -hmm. part, which has got nothing to do with your talent. Mm. So when she first came to you, the first time I told you, I cannot cry, you tell me. I know the English and everything. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was like, <laughs> and so even when we had Mela, I brought her in to read just to remind her she couldn't do it. Mm. There are certain actresses that believe they can, and when you bring them in, they Fail. prove you right that they can't do it. And I brought Malika in because I remember you heard about Mela, then you called, you somehow got my number, and she called. She 
I'm the girl who's I said, I'm a red. <laughs> Bring her in and board today anyway. Like literally. So I, I just looked at you and you look she has this way she always looks so perfect. <laughs> My life is beautiful. Like a doll. And then I asked her to break down. At first she was okay. She broke down just enough and I kept asking her to do it. I think out of frustration she finally just said, God damn yeah, I was and tired that was the first that. time I saw something that yeah. I said, you know what? Do you really want to act? I actually told you that. I said, okay, brace yourself. We're yeah. about to go on a ride. Damn. Because, you know, these, these, these people always think just, um, and I know I've deviated the question, yes. but it's just because I have the opportunity to now share it. It's mm -hmm. that when you look at the pretty girl, you're like, her life is easy because she's pretty. Mm -hmm. She's the one, by the way, who's asked out the least. No, guys are really like, oh, I, I okay, never said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They're like, oh, Nisha, Nisha, Nisha will get whatever role she auditions yes. for. But we already have Marker. We already Nisha is whatever. <laughs> Nisha is my friend, so me, I know. No, it's not the case. <laughs> you know, um, Joanne will walk into a room and she knows her talent. Like you said, you know you're good. Yeah. But then, like, but we do this anti this, and you're like, really, really. And Nana Kaga has just literally shown me that cameras frighten her, but there's a thing of do it even when you're scared. Because me, it was as easy as me saying, but why don't you just stick to the things where they do not disturb you? Mm. But you know, know what, Malaka, you touched and on then, something that's so important. If Nisha came to me to audition, in Uganda there's now a culture. The better you are, the less you're wanted. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Oh, what's going on? We are finally getting. I don't understand yes. what's happening. We're finally getting the big projects. We're getting the money invested into these projects, and they're casting mediocre actors. And I will call this I out don't wish. on the set. Thank you, Nana. Whereby you they have powerhouses in that if they combine those actors with a great project, great cinematography, the right funding. What you have is a Ugandan film that will break Netflix and everywhere I else know. you go. But they're so I comfortable and terrified of the idea that you'll come on a set and do your best, right? But they feel uncomfortable because they think you have too much, you've done too much, you won't be controllable, <laughs> you won't put up with certain things, and they lose sight of the value you bring to Ugandan cinema. It's not about me as Nana, it's not about yeah. her as Nisha, it's not about her. It's you sitting down and saying, let me cast this person because they will drive the So Nana, let me, let, me, let me say to that. So to that, I remember someone said, ah, I'm tired of seeing the same face. I was like, I'm sorry, how would you feel if you entered the hospital? But she said that's a doctor, but she said that's a doctor. <laughs> I'm like, how is he? That is his craft. Yeah. That is his job. And if I'm to say something that is, on that, like, if, if we are to go back, honestly, what has made the Nigerian industry what it is, okay. is the consistency Tensi. of this. I can only get better. I can only get better with more projects and more exactly. projects. And we can, and guess what? The thing is, now it shows you you have little projects. Thank you. That's why you're able to see it so out. evidently because your projects are few. So do more and you'll see many more and but open please, more doors. But don't please. close doors on the people who have been around. Well, good. If you exactly. have the right so project, if you understand. have the right project, yes. there is no way you take And Anyway, back to, to me. More. Back to me. <laughs> Mbamani, Mbamani, actresses, actresses. Anyway, one more. You see, this is why I, I phrase my answer the way I phrase it, because I knew there are many um, innuendos, there are many nuances that people would normally ignore and think that you went for it in order to win an award. Mm -hmm. No, let me tell you, I cannot explain to you how much UFF was out of my heart because that heartbreak was enough. I said, keep your hours when you want it so badly is when it comes here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know we're going to talk about um, audition. So I'm not going to even go into my audition and everything because I'll share that story. So when the list came out, the UFF, Uganda Film Festival list came out, and I saw my list. <laughs> Guys, I was shocked. First of all, I called Ellen and I said, you submitted? <laughs> Our film. <laughs> Thoughts? <laughs> I, this is fantastic. Great. That was the last time I thought about it. I remember I posted it, congratulations, and I said, I am not. Because of the heartbreak I felt the last time, mm -hmm. I said, I'm not going to think about it. I literally looked to God, because God is my everything. I said, Jesus, 
If it's mine, it's mine. If it's not, thank you for the nomination. Second time round. But I am not a Leonardo DiCaprio. So, <laughs> yeah. So now when we get to the day of the award ceremony, I was hosting the Ethiopian Embassy um, event. Like I've told you, there is no way in my mind I was winning. I was just happy that I was nominated. I booked an event that day. I never do that. You guys know me. If it's, I, I never double book things. Mm -hmm. I never whatever. I booked an event and I was like, never I'll be dressed nicely. I'll come later on in the evening. I just smile with everyone and schmoosh with the whatever kisses. <laughs> there you were. Brand the old. Elinos, that's golden. Where are you? Your, your category is about to come up. I said, I don't know, you shall be fine now. Are you coming? I said, I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Please take your seats. Um, we are, yeah, I'm still on my gig. Yeah, I'm making money. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> so Elinos kept calling and calling and calling me and calling me. And she's like, Malika, they're reading out. They're well. You guys, I was on the phone with her. Like, now I started panicking. You said, oh my God, 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 oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. <gasps> Then she was like, Malika, I'm on. She, you guys, if you look at that footage, she was talking to me while on the stage. Malika, where are you? Then she's like, Malika, you won. Why am I getting this? I almost knocked. <laughs> I almost knocked someone. You guys, I almost knocked. I remember the guard was saying, Madam, you can't. I said, Leave me, I won. <laughs> Madame, you know me, poison everything. So I remember how I walked in because everyone was like, oh my God, first of all, you all thought you were announcing to me. I would be there. <laughs> As I walked through, Malika, why are you? You miss. I'm like, if you think you are annoyed, what about me? <laughs> Eleanor, give my speech for me. <laughs> I don't know. Put a chair, put me in the <laughs> So I came in literally when they were walking off the stage after receiving uh, my award. Oh, that was see. that moment. Like, cause she, I saw them walk off oh, while no. I was walking in, and everyone in the room, like, like, and I was just like, <laughs> I mean, oh. you're like, thank you, my <laughs> God. <laughs> so they called me back. They were like, now the thing is, I had never known money was attached to those awards. <laughs> First of all, you were first. <laughs> so <laughs> So people think someone will confidently tell you, and then you feel offended. You know, they expect that. It's, 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 it's terrible. You should be proud with me. Yeah. You should be happy for me. I did this to raise my flag here back at home. And you're actually using it against me. And I find it disgusting. Yeah. Mm.